to convert units in the customary system, we have to use the rules if, that are um, posted in shorthand up here. If you're converting a larger unit to a smaller unit, you will have to multiply. If you are changing a smaller unit to a larger unit, you're going to have to divide. So if we look at number two, and we're converting feet to inches. Feet are, lar feet are larger units than inches, so that means we're converting from a larger unit to a smaller unit, which would tell us to multiply. So we multiply three times the number of inches in a foot, which is 12. Three times 12 is 36. So there are 36 inches in three feet. For number five, we're converting feet to yards. Yards is a larger unit of measure than feet, so we're converting from a smaller unit to a larger unit, which would mean we would have to divide. So we divide 24 by the number of feet in a yard, which is three. 24 divided by three would give us eight. Sometimes when we're converting and we're dividing, we end up with remainders. One option of what we can do, for example, on 13 feet equals blank yards and blank feet. We're converting feet to yards. We're going from smaller to larger, which as I mentioned, we would be dividing. So we would have to divide 13 divided by three since there are three feet in a yard. Now when we divide three into 13, it doesn't go evenly. And we end up with a remainder of one extra foot. So it would be four yards with one foot left over. On the next one, 38 inches equals blank feet and blank inches. We're converting inches to feet. A smaller unit to a larger unit, which would be to divide. We would have to divide 38 by 12, since there are 12 inches in a foot. And when we divide 12 into 38, it doesn't go evenly. And again, we end up with a remainder. It would equal three feet with two inches left over. 39 and 40, we're adding and subtracting units of measure. Two feet plus one foot would give us three feet. Three yards plus eight yards would give us 11 yards. Whenever you're adding, you have to see if there are enough of the smaller units to equal the larger unit of measure. Since three feet equals one yard, we're going to change the three feet into one yard. Add that to the 11 yards we already had to give us a total of 12 yards. Again, because three feet equals a yard, we can tra change the three feet into a yard, combine that with the 11 yards we already had, and that would give us a total then of 12 yards. One like number 40, we're subtracting four inches minus one inch would be three inches. Seven feet minus five feet would give us two feet. In subtraction, there are times that you might have to end up borrowing, for example, if I have three yards and one foot minus one yard and two feet, I can't subtract two from one, so I would have to borrow. I borrow from the three yards, and that would become two, and the one yard that I borrowed would turn into three feet plus the one foot that we already had would give us a total of four feet. Again, when we borrow one yard, and move it over to this column, it becomes three feet because there are three feet in a yard. Three feet plus the one we had gives us four feet. And when we subtract that, we would get one yard and two feet. To convert units of capacity and weight, we follow the same rules that we did for the units of length. If we're converting from a larger unit like gallons to a smaller unit like quarts, we would have to multiply. Larger to smaller tells us to multiply. So we would multiply three times four, since there are four quarts in a gallon. Three times four would give us 12. On number three, we're converting cups into quarts. Since quarts are larger than cups, we would have to divide. We would divide 32 by 32 by 4, since there are 4 cups in a quart, 32 divided by 4 would be 8. For number 6, we're changing ounces into pounds. Since pound is a larger unit of measure, we're converting smaller to larger. Smaller to larger tells us to divide. We would have to divide 48 by 16, since there are 16 ounces in a pound. 
When you divide 16 into 48, you would get 3. So 48 ounces would equal 3 pounds. When 15, we're converting pounds to ounces. So here we're going from a smaller unit, a larger unit of measure to a smaller unit of measure. Larger to smaller means to multiply. So we would have to multiply 6 times 16 since there are 16 ounces in a pound. If you work this out this way, you would get 96 ounces.